After the Department of Justice announced this week a plan to crack down on privately made firearms that don't include serial numbers, we wanted to take a look at how common they are in our area. Two News Oklahoma's Amanda Slee talked to an agent with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms who works the Oklahoma, Texas region. Amanda. The new rule modernizes the definition of a firearm under federal law. It clarifies that part kits are subject to the same regulations as a traditional firearm, as well as requiring those parts to be licensed and have serial numbers. The newly submitted rule from the Department of Justice is known as the frame or receiver rule. It applies no matter how a firearm is made, meaning it applies to individual parts, kits, or those made by 3D printers. <coughs> really doesn't change anything for the public however it might change some things for the industry going forward of how they do business what they sell and how they sell it the government says the goal is to combat what some refer to as ghost guns but atf says the technical term is privately made firearms first of all and ghosts aren't real but probably made firearms are the probably made firearm or hurt hurt you just the same as a regular firearm from any other manufacturer. Body says privately made firearms aren't a big problem in Oklahoma. For Tulsa County, from October of last year to last month, ATF says it seized only four PMFs. The rise in uh, probably made firearms is seen uh, basically in places with stringent, stringent state gun control laws. Again, this is from my research and reading, such as California. California sees a lot of privately made firearms. He says what they are seeing is an alarming rise in a part that modifies guns to run fully automatic. It dramatically increases the fire rate of a firearm such as the Glock or the AR-15. And every bullet has the potential to kill someone. So the more bullets you can shoot faster, the higher the potential. These products are illegal and are being 3D printed and smuggled in from other countries. As far as privately made firearms goes, Body says there's nothing wrong with making them. Only when those firearms begin changing hands does that become a problem or someone who starts manufacturing firearms for the sale or, or buying these to resell and there's a profit. I reached out to multiple gun shops for comment, but no one wanted to do an interview, only saying this doesn't affect them. The rule goes into effect in August. Amanda Slee, 2 News, Oklahoma.